Hey guys, Bill Schimantel, Derek Stewart out here on the BBZ TV and Hell or High Water Boat out here at the Channel Islands. Got up early this morning, we headed out to the boat and uh, we were just coming out here to play around and see what was going on. We came across, we saw some cool little dolphins, I'll show you right here on the video. And we found a bunch of bait way out in like 300 foot of water, no structure or cover elements, they're just, you can see them in a current line where the tide was pulling out way out. But we came across towards Yellow Banks, um, tip of uh, San Pedro Point over here at Santa Cruz. And visually, we didn't see anything with birds. We had zero activity, nothing. So a couple birds are flying in right now. So what we did... We looked at our graphs. I'm going to pull out a little bit on the graph. So the tip of uh, Pedro Point's up here. Yellow Banks is this area right here. Well, what we did is, just like in bass fishing, and I'm trying to prove to you guys... The stuff you do in salt water, a lot of it you can do in bass fishing, so I'm looking for structure and cover. So we got a lot of deep edge break line here that comes up into a flat. As you zoom in on this, you can see all this different contour right here. So since we're not seeing anything on top, we're going to go over here and we're going to start going around looking at the humps, little islands, break lines, points, pinnacles, that when the current starts pushing, it's going to start moving water flow on the outside edge of these little high spots and it's going to be areas where bait fish can cruise across run around and calicos yellows and everything else Ooh, like right here here comes some fish right here these are calicos i wouldn't be surprised if derek gets hooked up he's behind us throwing a bastard tube but we want to show you that when you get lost sometimes in the ocean unless you're fishing for some pelagics and you're just in open water looking for a kelp patty or something Always look at your structure elements. They, they have a big part of it, even if it's down 100, 200, 300 foot of water. So we're going to do that. We're going to come out here. We're going to do a little uh, artificial fishing. We didn't get any live bait. We're just out here throwing some tubes and swim baits, and we're going to see what the day brings us. So let me clear that cursor. We're going to drive around, look for more of that. When you see the really small little stuff, a lot of it's white fish, but stuff like this, there's calicos in that little pile right there. Derek's back here. Ripping a little tube, and what we have on the tube is uh, I just picked up a couple Daiwa swim bait rods from Tackle Warehouse, and it's the DXSB 801, um, something that matches you know swim baits that I could throw, but it works really good out here for the six inch and the tubes. Pairing it up with the Lexa 400 with 65, oh, right there, 65 pound Maxima braid. Um, he's not too far underneath the boat. I can see the bait. Yeah, I can see the bait right there. 65 pound test maxima braid and then what we're doing is we're doing a top shot of 30 pound test maxima fluorocarbon and I have that uh, Spro prime snap put on the uh, the end of the line so I don't have to retie every time we uh, blow through a bait one of the bastrix baits and we could just swap out tubes real quick or jig heads it makes it easy it makes it really easy but uh, we're going to start fishing around here on top of these little high spots out here. We're getting fish up here in this the top part of the water column. <clears throat> and there's definitely some stuff down here. So let's uh, see if we catch a few fish and show you guys what's going on out here. Throw it back there, keeping my hand a little bit on that. I want it, to, I want it to, to glide a little bit more instead of spiraling down on a free spall, fall on this. See if I get anything. Oh, oh God, he just, he just, there he is. So you do it on the slide, and if you get the slide just right in the upper water column, they, they will thump it pretty good. So remember, if you flat fall jigs, they spiral like this. If you keep a little pressure on them, you'll get them to glide. And sometimes that glide on the drop is, is the key. So there's a quick thing of us uh, showing you how to read the graph, what we're looking for. Ooh, these guys just have sharp little teeth. 
the baits we're using, the equipment, and how we're working them. Catch some nice little calicos. Let's try that again. That's what's so cool about cal calicos. They always said if you swing the hook on them, you're going to miss half of them. And the nice thing about the Lexa 400s we're using, Derek and I both have eight to ones on, is you can pull up so much line so quick that when you do get hit, all you do is you, you reel set on these fish right. and you're going to get a better hookup. And when you see these fish being brought in, man, that hook is pegged right through their jaw bone. So uh, it, is, it is very valuable to have a high speed reel on the ocean, especially calico fishing. Oh, nice. Real set on that one. That's a five pound calico right there, my friend. That's a five pounder. Oh, easy. He might be bigger. He might be six. He might... <laughs> that, that's a beautiful fish. Whoo! Hold on. Ocean. Just came back from iCast. We got this really cool thing from Spro. It's called a prime snap. Now, I was just using a tube out there and I got tore up with the calico. I'm gonna show you this. It's a quick snap release system. So instead of cutting this hook off, putting a new tube on basically you slide that jig off just like that we're gonna get a new bastrix tube we're gonna slide it up rotate it around make sure it's all centered perfect we're gonna pop that eye through most of the other times we'd have to if you tore a bait off you'd have to retie the whole thing instead of retying prime snap there's four different sizes from 50 75 125 and 175 pounds this little dog eye right here what you want to do is you want to kind of almost go backwards and upside down you slide it through the eye pull down on it it pops it through you roll roll it around and your tubes on so instead of using just a straight tie and I have to keep cutting and putting new baits on prime snap by Spro so, super simple very durable catch a lot of fish the key is guys when you tie on your snap make sure you do it on the part that this little ear on it don't tie your line on this bottom part of it because it won't work you got to tie it on the top part but it's a real quick easy uh, on and off system make sure you check out spro.com for more information on the prime snap and i hope you guys enjoy this little piece of information let's get back out and catch some fish got some good fish right there 80 foot underneath us out of 100 so we get close to the bottom start to do the pop and slide there's some good fish down there Ooh. player got him, got him. Oh, good fish, good fish, good oh, fish. Nice. Good fish, it's going in the rocks. Ugh. Ugh. Oh no, I lost him. <clears throat> I barely, like that. You barely keep your thumb on that, that line and then all of a sudden you'll feel it either or just it'll pull a little bit quicker. Or... There we go. Nice. Crab, they got the crabs back up. Crabs came up out of nowhere. That that uh, seagull just ate crabs. Oh, what you got, though? Something decent. This thing's gonna spool me. Go after it. Now well, let's just see if we can just keep dragging it. Wow. Uh, broke me off Aww. got me in that was a big 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 fish on the drop with the red crab that adds a little bit more weight to it Derek 
I don't know how big he is, but I think he's getting ready to say, oh, I'm hooked, and he's going to start to take off. There he goes. <laughs> ooh, ooh, it's got good, good color. Nice size, too. I just, oh, I might got me a big old sea bass, brother. Look at that sucker. Yep. Look at that sucker. Yep. We're going <laughs> to... That is a big old sea bass. Oh, nice sea bass. Look, Derek. Nice sea bass. Hello, sea bass. Woohoo! That's a sea bass. Okay, let's get a get the camera. Nice. Oh, look how you barely got him hooked. Yep. Oh, he's got teeth. Oh, good fish, dude. You got him? Yep. There you go. Yep. Got your camera? Okay, hey guys. That thing's over 20. We're going to do a little catch and release and whack him. Whack him. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Look at that. <laughs> cool. Okay, guys. That was a 20 plus pound sea bass. We're on the outside of uh, Anacapa. We're on a current switch. And uh, I'm watching seagulls going down and, and hitting red crabs, so I switched colors. Put on a uh, Bastrix one ounce red crab tube. And I had one that spooled me and broke me off a little while ago. I finally got one. This one was over 20. So calicos, white fish, big sea bass, Bastrix, baby. We're going to do it again. That, we got a biomass of crab right here. Birds are going down, eating the crabs five feet under the water we're off this little we're on the back side of this little hump and there are some solid fish underneath us come on come on buddy. Yeah, big old calico buddy. Nice, buddy, buddy, buddy. nice calico get a little orange in the face yeah Stick your tongue out at you. Hee <laughs> hee. Look right there. There's We are right in the biomass. Come on. Somebody come and play. Come on. There he is. There he is. There he is. There he is. There we go. There we go. There we go. There. There we go. There we go. There we go. That was, we were coming right through the biomass. Everything was looking good. I just want to see it, guys. To see it. Oh, jeez. Big sea bass. <laughs> oh, Lordy. That is a sea bass, brother. Yes, it is. That's a sea bass. Okay, another one, Bastrix tube. $100 rod from <laughs> Tackle Warehouse I bought last night, or I got last night, and uh, Derek's uh, on. Derek, take your time. Don't don't overpressure him. Don't overpressure him. Let me go chase him for you, brother. Just just hold on to him and don't overdo it. Keep up with him. Okay, we take out of gear. Just try to keep it right over the top. Derek's on. Take your time, brother. We got him in open water. Just play him. Take your time. Oh, shit, Derek. <laughs> that's your first sea bass, yes, buddy. That's your first sea bass, brother. Oh, that's over 20. That's another 20. Nice. <laughs> Here's this. Clicky, clicky, get a hold of that real quick so we don't. This one we could probably let go, maybe. You got him in so good. Okay, let's get this out of the way. Oh my gosh, so big. Pretty good, we chased him down good. 20? Yeah. Okay. He's gone. Good release. He's gone. <laughs> there's Thank your you, brother. There's your first sea bass, bro. Yeah, it's about time. Hey guys, Derek and I out here at Channel Islands. Derek's first sea bass. Yes. And like I said, it's funny. I uh, picked up a couple rods at Tackle Warehouse. We're getting ready to go to the Arctic Circle, and uh, paid 100 bucks for some Daiwa big bait rods. 
They're, they're excellent. They're excellent. <laughs> they, they catch it's really amazing. good fish for a hundred bucks. Um, the red crab and the bass tricks, we're using three quarter ounce and we're looking at an outside point and the current's moving and you can see the current coming up and actually pushing the biomass of crabs up in the water column. We're yeah. looking at the Laurent screen. We're finding them in 20, 30, 40 foot of water. We're getting down in that area. We're doing a rip and then a glide. And I watched Derek rip that thing and that thing just, his rod just bent over double and took off. So, Best. <laughs> yeah, so great day. I had one fish we couldn't revive. So I'm gonna take that home, stake it out and share it with the neighbors and friends. But uh, no, we have uh, three sea bass in the boat today. I, I dumped a really big one that sp was fooling me. We caught 20, 20 or 30 calicos, a bunch of white fish, all on artificial. Solid five plus, maybe six pound calico. Yeah, big calico. White so, fish, three to four pounds. <laughs> yeah, we got some big white fish too. Wow. So great day out here. We're out here on the hell or high water. We wish Timmy was out here, our buddy. Yeah. He's the captain of the boat. He had to go up north to do some stuff. So Captain Tango Tango. Yeah. Hope you guys check in. Make sure you watch some of these more videos that we're doing. And what we're trying to explain here is we're doing the same exact stuff if we were going out bass fishing in fresh water. We're ripping the tube like I would do at Casitas. Go up at the Sirius, rip them the same way for big trout. We're gonna do it in the Arctic Circle. Electronics for structure. Yep, yep. Yeah, we're just keeping it really, really simple. So, hope you guys enjoy this. We gotta go clean a couple fish. I gotta clean a fish, he's gonna fish a little bit more. But we hope you guys enjoy this. We'll catch you next time out of the water. <laughs> and we gotta go, my friend. He might just take me into the rocks. I can't hold him. <laughs> yeah, let's see if I get you some practice on that. Go up wind and see if we get right over over the top. Well, he's coming right here, but just try to keep him on the windward side. And you take up a lot of line quick doing this. Out of gear. And just just hold it right here. And just, oh, here he is. Yellowtail. Oh my gosh, good yellowtail. Woo! Nice. That's a piggy yellow. Nice. Okay. All right, guys. Nice little yellowtail. Gonna take a quick picture. Here we go, yellowtail. <laughs> Swam away. The day is done, my friend. Yep. We gotta go in and fuel up. That's a good little yellowtail. It's probably about 12 to 15 pounds. But yeah. <laughs> we did good. That was a nice way to close. Yep. Yep. So, <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm burnt out. Okay. <laughs>